about to happen. Can I just play you something? <clears throat> this was, uh, I'd like to know, I'll ask you actually, because, you know, this is a fake news free environment. Um, oh, is it? Can you tell me what are you doing you... here? Then? You're a comedian as well. What are you doing here? Are you are you working at the Apollo tonight? <laughs> can you tell me when you can you tell me when you posted this? Yep. Oh, oh and, and you've cut. I, I already know what you're going to show me, and and you're going to have cut out. Go and get here because this is great. Because okay. you're going to show me standing outside the mosque saying that there's enemy combatants living in these houses. No. No, oh, damn it. No. <laughs> is, that, is, that your, is that your favourite one? Is it? Well, it is because it's taken out of context because you okay. don't. Yeah. Just should be able to pick the sound up on this. Okay, I'm yeah, just going to try and make sure the camera can hear. Yep. I've said time and time again, if we don't get this issue dealt with, then the British public will. They will end up taking matters into their own hands. Take Northern Ireland as a prime example. Militias will be set up, and the UK government will have a problem beyond their wildest dreams. Inaction will only facilitate the creation of a disgruntled, angry population who will end up cleaning out this Islamic problem. Yep. Does that feel uncomfortable watching that now? No, not at all, no. No, that's a warning. Look, I'm not asking people to do that. See, what you're trying to make it seem is that I'm saying, let's get a militia. I've never said that. What I'm giving is... I've, I've been proven right. I don't know why everyone's... I'm, I'm, what I've said is true. And, and this has proven what I've said is true. Is this a self-fulfilling prophecy, though, where someone like yourself, very, very prominent figure, says that people are going to rise up, people are going to take matters into their own hands? It's sort of language that we saw Darren Osborne using in the back of that police van. Is this a self-fulfilling prophecy that you've let happen? I don't know what it means. No, it's a, it's a warning. It's a warning. Look, a self-fulfilling prophecy is where you keep saying it over and over again. People are going to rise up. People are going to take matters into their own hands until eventually it does happen. No, it's not. Uh, you, what, what is a warning? No one has talked the truth. That's the truth. The truth is and the warning is. This is what's going to happen. Vulnerable young children out there right now. Th this is what's going to happen. Okay, it, that's what's going to happen. As we progress few, further in the years, in the last 12 months, as I said, 12 terrorist attacks have been stopped. If you look what's happened over the last couple of years, whether it be the Black Hand Theatre, whether it be, whether it be Leon with Laurie, whether it be Germany, whether it be all these massacres going on across Europe, that, no one would have thought of that five years ago. Progress another five years of what's going to happen, okay, with Islamic Jihad. That's what this is, Islamic war on us. What do you think is going to happen over the next five years? Now, the, the consequences of that are, and the reality is, and the point I was making, do you know the point when I, do you know when I made that video? I made that video because I tracked down Abu Halima. Abu Halima is one of our country's most radical extremist terrorist supporters who's on camera saying we'll kill the gays when we get power, we'll murder everyone, we'll do this, we'll do that, okay? I tracked him down to see where our government have housed him. And I found him living next door to a primary school with our kids in it. This is the reality. That's not, that's not the government's children, because their children won't be in that school. Our children are in that school. Now you see, if my children were in that school, Abu Halima would not be living there, okay? So th that's the reality. When I say British, the British public, we have, to we have children, we have families, and we want protection, and we want to feel safe. Now, if the government fail, which they failed, they have failed, they're completely failing. They've done nothing. S ISIS, they've allowed, 2,000 British Muslims went to fight for ISIS, they've allowed half of them to come back. Some of them are walking around my hometown of Luton. Some of them are walking around my town. When did you post that video, do you remember? Um, no, I don't. That, po that, that was posted straight after Abu Halima. Uh, video, which would have been just after Manchester attacks, the London attack. So this is the prime time when, according to the court, Darren Osborne was in a process of again. What, 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 what is mad, isn't it? What is mad is that what you're trying to get to, what you're trying to put from this, is rather than the terrorist attack radicalised him, me saying no, no, no. In court, they said that this was the so three, what are you the three terror attacks yeah. and other things, including researching so fake, did, wait, fake news websites. Did they, so, did, did, did they say in court that I radicalised him? No, they didn't say that. No, but so what are you getting at? What part, are you trying to do on your... What, what is this on your news? What's this all about for your news? A big picture of me, big murder trial. Do you feel responsible? That's what you want to do. That's what you're going to do. That's what is insane. <laughs> it's insane. It's insane if you have, you know... Ha do you have no integrity? Do you he, think, well, listen, Tommy. Do, do, you think that it's, do you think it's important for if someone is mentioned more than once, on multiple occasions, your name was brought up in court on a very serious murder trial? Of course it was. Attack. Of course it was. It was do done on purpose. Not, do you think it's not important to come and speak to you? No, not I, only I, to hear your view, but, but also to challenge you. Okay, do you think that's important? Well, well, Would you I think, not do that? You call, I, you call yourself a journalist these days, I've, right? ju I've just told you that what they've said is lies. They, my name didn't need to be brought up in this court case. It's done on purpose. It's done on purpose so that you can run news pieces like this, the BBC can run, run news pieces like this, and they can try and implicate me and defame me and slander me to the whole entire country. When the reality is, the big, you see the little video you're cutting? Why don't you cut the video where I said violence doesn't work, we, we, th then no one should commit to acts of terror, no one should give wi Muslim women abu abuse. Why don't you cut... Do you think Mr Osborne saw these videos Everyone well? saw these videos. So you think he saw as much of your peaceful protest as your That's rise up? I, I didn't say rise up. 
I didn't say Voidoid. You said take matters in your, into your own hands. I didn't say take matters into your own hands. people will take matters into their own yeah, hands. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but you said, I said take matters into your own hands. See, that's very different to people will take matters into their own hands. Does it make you feel uncomfortable that things... It makes me feel uncomfortable that, that you're just... dropping words to make it fit that I'm telling people to rise up and kill people. Do, do you know, do you do you know what I invite Does it not make you feel uncomfortable yeah. that, that Darren Osborne yeah. has said, has quoted back things that you have said, for example, take matters into my own hands and don't look back I didn't in say anger, that. which we, is a we, sneer on, we've just said on that. the Manchester attack. When have I said don't look back in anger? Apparently, according to the, what was said in court, Darren Osborne read a message from you that said, don't look back in anger. A lady sung a song of don't look back in anger after the Manchester terrorist attack. That, you, you, you know that's where I know, that, I know what it's about. You know yeah, where that comes course, from. Yeah. Yeah. So, so and, you, and, and, and let me get something clear here. You know the email that he would have received from the email list from Rebel? Do you know what it was to invite, invite all the people on? To a a silent walk. A silent walk, and you're trying to make it out. Look, 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 you're trying to make out like it's like, come on, let's rise up and smack. Is, you're, you're, I'm not, you're, Tommy. I'm not. I'm not trying to make you look the like media. you did this. Like you did this attack. No, I'm the media. No, you're trying. No, the media. The, the media feel in any way not responsible. Do you because you didn't you? drive the van, but do you feel any in any way responsible for possibly pushing Darren no, Osborne on this path? No. Do you know who should feel responsible? Didsbury Mosque. Other mosques. You see the radical hate centres that have been radicalising and hate preacher after hate preacher after hate preacher that made Salman Abedi the terrorist he is. That's who should feel responsible. And they're still open now, doing exactly the same right now. I have no responsibility in this, okay? I combat and tell the truth and make people aware of what's happening in our country. The government should feel responsible. They failed completely. They've allowed this nation within a nation to build. They've allowed terrorists to go fight and behead people in Syria and then come walk around my hometown of Luton. The British public realise that. They're watching that. People are scared. People are fearful. The British public are. What and do you think of Darren Osborne? Um, has he been convicted and found guilty? This isn't going to go out okay. until the end of the trial. So I, I, we, I, I, are, we are... Please don't put any, okay. This can't go out, by the way. No. This, you know this can't go out until after the trial, if you're planning on putting that anywhere. No? OK, well, that's it, live. So it's live. It's live. Yeah. <laughs> well, can you can you stop broadcasting? I like no, it. No. no. Do you know why it's live? So that when you do your little news piece mm. and it's a little hit on me and it makes it look like this and that, people can watch back to see the conversation we had, and then people will you will be exposed as fake we're gonna news. Have to, we're going to have to end it. Because, Let's end it. This then. is this is pop, this is potentially contempt of court because we should. Why you can't? Well, you can't talk about a case. We're not going to broadcast anything until the end of this case. Well, I haven't done that. You've come to well, question you, me. Well, you brought, you're broadcasting. Just no, broad, we're, we're just broadcasting an interview with you. That's all okay, we're doing. Okay, well, um, <laughs> if this ever goes to court, you can see we, are, we were unaware that this was being broadcast. Tommy, you're going to have to end it there. I'll, I'll be go. standing in front of you for the last... Well, since the start. How did I know you were meant to be <laughs> doing it live? That's a real shame, Tommy, because we could get into some... Well, possibly, actually, you could get into some serious trouble from broadcasting this. And broadcasting what? What, what? what exactly? A conversation about a case that is ongoing. A case that's ongoing? A case that hasn't finished yet. It's finishing this So afternoon. why are you asking me what I think of Darren Osborne? Because this is going out afterwards, you knew that. Oh, right, so. All right.